there is no group we would rather be with today than you. I wish to discuss five truths that I feel impressed to share with you. Though the devotional, Truth The Love and Laws of God, was five years ago, BYU students are still reflecting on the five truths President Nelson shared on that day. Literally the best and coolest prophet ever. And I think it's so cool that he's celebrating 100 years of life. The first truth that we should ever know and what he starts off the devotional with is that we are sons and daughters of God. The prophet continued his discourse by revealing how this truth has more depth than it seems on the surface. You are the children whom God chose to be part of his battalion during this great climax in the long-standing battle between good and evil. Upon looking back on this devotional, scientifically-minded students can find a simple connection to the second truth the prophet had to share. Truth number two, truth is truth. I think that's really good to say, truth is truth. You know, as a scientist, we really use facts and stuff, like what's here, what's not here. After lamenting about modern notions that truth is relative, President Nelson went on to discuss the third truth about God's perfect love for everyone. I think that is really hard sometimes for me to understand just how perfect his love is and how unconditional it is, how he just gives it to us. This discussion on God's love moved on to a law that took the form of a fourth truth. The Lord Jesus Christ, whose church this is, appoints prophets and apostles to communicate his love and to teach his laws. Something that I love that he mentions is that um, those prophets and ministers are for everyone. They're there to help us and guide us in these times. Though the first four truths are based upon love and laws of God, the fifth and final truth is based on action that the prophet implored BYU students to take. I think the last thing he really said is to ask, pray to God and just ask like, okay, is this true? Are they speaking the truth? Because it never hurts to ask. In reflecting on this specific message, the fact that this is President Nelson's only BYU devotional as prophet inspires a new perspective on all of the messages President Nelson has previously shared. I thought it was really cool to rewatch it and stuff. I think something I hope I can do better is to go and rewatch old devotionals. Reporting for Universe Live on BYU campus, I'm Emmeline Blythe.